Chapter 160 Emperor Gold Attribute Demonic Cult Attacks Seeking Help from Ancient Water Beast Underscore 2 Han Yi listened and nodded as Don Yu spoke. The black clothes mentioned by Don Yu are likely to be those of the demonic cult. The terrifying power they emanate is probably the residual immortal power suppression from where they sat in meditation. When I wanted to leave, I found everyone was gone. And I didn't dare to go out on my own. The overwhelming power pressed heavily on me and was hard to bear. However, somehow, I managed to persist using some methods. I inexplicably ended up in one of the cave heavens adorned with golden cicada patterns. So that thing was the heavenly cicada golden body. I thought it was a skeleton. It looked spooky and emitted light upon encountering any human. It burrowed into me and just couldn't be shaken off. When Wang Dan Yu mentioned some methods, he gave Han Yi a pointed look. Han Yi grasped a meaning immediately. It seemed that Wang Dan Yu truly had utilized the power of the Zhuangming giant turtle visualization image at the critical moment. Otherwise, he couldn't have survived in the undersea dragon cave. To be blessed with such fortune, it means your luck and your abilities are deserving. With this heavenly cicada golden body, Dan Yu, your future is boundless, Han Yi said, encouraging him with a smile. Is it really that amazing? Wang Dan Yu was surprised at the rare praise from Han Yi. Brushing back her hair, Chu Xian Yu finally recovered from the shock of Wang Dan Yu's story. She nodded seriously, the power of the golden cicada true immortal is certainly not weak. His golden body has essentially paved the way for you, making your path and body tempering much easier, as if walking on flat ground. The mere fact that you could absorb the golden body without any rejection also suggests your aptitude is indeed commendable. Complimented, Wang Dan Yu couldn't help but laugh sheepishly. I just wanted to give it a try. Didn't expect to actually succeed. From what Miss Chu said, there's now a greater chance of attaining immortality through cultivation with this golden body. With these words, a glaring and dazzling gold light fell from Don Naya's chest. Honey caught it right in time. Could it be that one Don Naya's body sheds a gold attribute? Is it real? Suppressing the shock in his heart, he pondered while utterly amazed. He immediately picked up the attribute to check what it was. Pick up a tribute. Late bloomer plus R. Late bloomer gold. Although originating from insignificance. Possessing the ambition of a king, any goal or task one set will be pursued tenaciously to success. What a late bloomer indeed. It took Han Yi a while to recover and understand the meaning of late bloomer. Some people, like royalty, are born into wealth. Their cultivation journey is a smooth ride. Undoubtedly the dragon among men. Some others, like Chu Xian Yu, are inherently sensitive to swordsmanship, inherit the sword, immortal lineage. And with the support of prominent families, this attribute of theirs is magnified. However, for ordinary folks like him and Wan Da Niu, aiming to rise from their humble beginnings to the ranks of nobility and seek the path to immortality, the journey seems unbearably difficult. Wan Da Niu is several years older than him. After years of relying on dual spiritual roots to join the sect, he is now verging on middle age, rising to prominence in life from middle age, increasing the chances of attaining Dao and reaching the peak in his later years this is exactly what late bloomer entails. Reflecting on Wan Da Naya's past experiences, Han Yi realized it completely matches with the description of late bloomer. Even this gold attribute has only appeared at this point in his life. Truly a late bloomer. Han Yi briefed Wan Da Niu about the current situation. A lot has happened while you were in the undersea dragon cave. The whole secret realm has turned into a slaughterhouse for the demonic cult. Ironically, the central zone formerly the most dangerous, is now the safest place. How did that happen? Up and learning the current situation, Wang Da Niu, obviously, was perplexed. Hey, as expected of senior brother Han, always so thoughtful. During their conversation, a sweet laughter echo in the sky. Han Yi squinted towards the frost blue streak of light converging into the delicate figure of a woman in the sky. His spiritual sense couldn't detect her presence, which could only mean one thing the person was up to no good. Let's get out off here. Sensing more people approaching, Han Yi quickly told the pair. He then pulled out a golden talisman from the storage ring. A heavenly space transferring talisman. It could teleport them thousands of miles away, thus evading the tracking. Wang Da Niu looked confusedly at the void. Isn't that junior sister Ning Wai? She's no longer junior sister Ning, 
but a woman from the demonic cult the devil. Remembering Ning Yujing's past actions, along with Chu Xiao Yu's account of how the demonic cult infiltrated the secret realm, Han Yi concluded that Ning Yujing held a high rank in the demonic cult and couldn't be a normal member. Injecting magic power into the talisman, he activated the transmission formation technique. However, it'd take time to completely envelop all three of them, so he shouted out, Junior Sister Ning, why have you brought so many people here? What do you want to do? There was no trace of charm in Ming Yujing's peach blossom eyes, only a cold smirk. Her high ponytail was now loose over her shoulders, her black hair cascading, with wide sleeves billowing. Despite her continuing ravishing beauty, both her expression and aura portrayed a different person, hardly resembling the little junior sister in the Czech cultivation realm anymore. Han Yi, hand over the heavenly demon nether dragon scroll. What scroll? Han Yi played dumb and asked. Stop pretending, any cultivator who cultivates contemplation diagrams will have a faint sense when they use their divine power. The demon chart isn't on you, it's on Wan Dan Yu, Ning Yujing said coldly. Junior sister, we are from the same sect. I have taken care of you in the cave mansion. Why do you need to be so absolute? Han Yi looked at the progress of the light under his feet and responded once more. Have you forgotten what happened that night? After hearing this, Chu Xian Yu had a sudden wince of suspicion and poked Han Yi with her elbow, her chilly gaze question and the situation. Han Yi made a shushing gesture and pointed to the teleportation array at his feet. False motives, just play acting. Hand over the demon chart. Ning Yujing's aura surged like a glaciated river descending from the sky. Evidently a nascent soul cultivator. Frost blue magic power transformed into a strong wine covering the landscape in snowflakes and turning the entire world white. Ice Clan Riding Dragon Visualizing Chart It contained a great deal of ice divine towers, infinitely powerful. Shoot! Just a little more. Hanyi looked at his feet and muttered to himself. Next thing he knew, it was the person beside him, Chishion Yusert in hand rushing out. Ah, Hanyi was taken aback by this scene. Chu Xianyu did not give any warning before she plunged into the fight with Ning Yujing. The Kangbi sword emitted a strong green sword check, as if it had the power to destroy anything, vanquishing all the cold gales. Ning Yujing did not expect that the white-skirted woman with a bronze ghost mask would suddenly make a move. Her swordsmanship was elusive, and every strike was heavily packed, assertive and charged, as if a long pent-up rage was finally vented. She was also very strong, not to be underestimated. Both were rare talents and beauties. As they made their fierce moves and unleashed their divine powers against each other, they created a beautiful sight. Wang Dan Yu and Han Yi activated the teleportation array and watched the battle from below. Since Chu Xian Yu broke through to the 8th rank Golden Core, her capabilities have only strengthened, and she could easily deal with nascent soul cultivators. The man thing was that Ning Yujing was a prodigious strong enemy, an existence that challenged her own level. Now she had encountered Chu Xian Yu, it was truly a case of meeting one's match. Miss Chu, come back, seeing that the teleportation array was ready, Han Yi shouted out loud. Swoosh, Chuck Xian Yu swung a long swath of sword chen, temporarily forcing Ning Yujing to retreat. She leapt and landed back on the ground. A teleportation array glittered to life and, in the blink of an eye, Han Yi and the others disappeared from their original place. Ning Yujing stood in empty space, gloominess clouding her peach blossom eyes. Damn it, I was scareless. Butsuna calm crossed her face. So what if they had a transmission talisman? The entire golden cicada secret realm isn't that big. Senior brother, where else can you run? She extended her palm, using her magic power forming an ice tote which spat out a frigid thread, guiding the way. Above the burning spring lake, ripples of space emerge, and three figures appeared in the sky. Where is this? Wang Daniu looked around, very curious. Burning Spring Lake. Han Yi said solemnly, if we want to escape or deal with Ning Yujing and her cronies, we can only come here. Chu Xian Yu sheathed her sword, looked down at the steaming blue lake, wondering, what's special about this place? You'll find out soon, Han Yi laughed. 